construction at the time it collapsed. Friends excavate sand and debris to see if they are survivors. And as usual, Nigeria trip to the scene to look as well as to assist. As this is ongoing, eyewitnesses give an account of what happened. The building started striking when we were working in the morning. We called the engineer who came for the reinforcement, who did. With some additional pillars, he, he, he added, he casted the pillars effectively, hoping that it will withstand the building. But all of a surprise in the evening by 6, 6 37 o'clock when we closed work. After taking my bath with other of my colleagues, we just went a stroll to eat just about, let me say, 20 meters. Behind us, what I heard was a very big blast. What I heard was a blast and everywhere was covered with dust. Already a family of four have been confirmed dead and three others who went to rescue them are currently receiving medical care at the Federal Medical Center in Mahia. The moment we, we got the information, we alerted the medical director, alerted the head of uh, clinical services and training, and the medical director mobilized all forces, all hands, and made sure relevant government authorities are contacted and informed. And he also started making arrangements for heavy duty machines to go to the site for rescue. The victims who were already under the collapsed building could not be extracted because they, we had not the facilities to do so. Um, I think this is an opportunity to call for such a structure, such a, an emergency response and gadgets to be provided. Sadly, eyewitnesses believe more lives would have been saved if the state emergency agency had lived up to the task expected of them. As part of its urban renewal,